So, ladies and gentlemen, um, have you ever guys gotten a fight with your parents? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Better. Better. Have you ever gotten a fight with your parents where you were right? Yes. You yes. knew yes. you were right. Yes. But, and you knew your parent was wrong. But all your parent could say, you knew they couldn't say anything truthful. The only thing they could say was, well, I'm your parent, or I'm the authority, or I'm the adult, so that's why we're going to do it. But you know it was wrong, and it didn't make any logical sense. Has anybody been in that situation? Yes, very, very common, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, let me kind of give you, listen, listen, listen. Let me kind of give you some advice on why we're doing what we're doing. Okay? Why are we doing proofs? Why are we doing all this triangle stuff? Okay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're ever going to win an argument with your parents, if you're ever going to win an argument or make a statement all right, after you leave high school, one thing you have to know how to do is be able to set up an argument. Okay? Now, a lot of you, all right, you may think you're good at it, and you may be, all right? but the fact of an argument, of making a good statement, is having something in truth. Remember we did truth tables? Or not so much even truth tables, but we did the, you know, was a statement true or false? We said, if you could have your hypothesis was true, right, then you know your conclusion, if it was false, then the whole hypothesis was false, right? But you have, what we did is we set up our arguments with a hypothesis that is going to be true. When we're making an argument, that's the exact same thing. And a lot of you, when you guys argue with each other or if you argue with your parents, your, your, um, your points that you try to make to them are your opinion, all right? A lot of them are not rooted in actually truthful facts. And as making a strong case to your parents, that's not something that's going to win arguments over with them, all right? If you want to win an argument, you have to set up a premise, a baseline of saying, hey, this is what is true. We can both agree that this is true, all right? And then you work your way in a logical order of showing, well, this is what's true. We know it's both true. This is true, right? And then why you are going to be right and why your parents can be wrong. But if you want to keep on fighting with your opinion, all right, versus your parents' opinion, it's not really going to do much because you know they're always going to win because they're just going to default on the, hey, I'm the adult or I'm the parent, and my opinion trumps your opinion, correct? Yeah, and even, even sometimes, even if the truth is out there, your parents still might default you on everything else. But that is the whole proof of, that's the whole purpose of what we're doing right now, all right? Some of you might say, I'm asking you to prove line XW is congruent to line ZW, all right? Some of you might want to say, well, okay, well, I can show you, I mean, I can say that. Well, these two look like they're equal to each other, right? Is that, that's not a very valid argument, though, is it? They look like they're equal? Does that make a lot of sense? No, you're not going to win many arguments by just saying they look equal. Maybe someone might believe you and say, okay, that's good enough for me. But for anybody that wants to get to the truth of something, they're not going to say, I'm not just going to trust your opinion that they look equal. That's not good enough for me. All right? So when we're going to work through this proof, we need to set up certain sets of statements with reasons why they're true. All right? That's the whole premise of our proofs and of our arguments we have in life. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys that little rant.